Hi, good evening, uh, Alaric. This is Stella. Thank you for invite, uh, accepting my invite to, uh, to conduct this interview with you. Uh, glad that you accepted it. And I just have a few uh, questions which I want to uh, ask you to share with me. Uh, what motivates you to work so hard? What motivates me to work so hard? Okay, so nowadays I don't work as hard as I used to. I've been traveling for the last nine months. Wow. I was in United States for two months, Ecuador for three months, Colombia for one month, Brazil for three months, and then now I'm in Spain. Um, so I'm kind of like retired right now. So I, didn't, I don't work as hard as I used to, okay? Now, but last time I used to work pretty hard. Like for example, when I first started doing business, when I first started doing sales, when I was 19 years old, I used to do like four appointments a day, okay? And that went on for like six days a week for 10 months straight, okay? So imagine four appointments a day, six days a week, that's 24 appointments a week, okay? For 10 months straight, right? That's about maybe 40 or 50 weeks. So I did uh, over a thousand appointments before I learned how to sell. I did over, over a thousand appointments to, to improve my, my sales skill set. To date, I've done probably thousands of appointments, okay? Thousands of appointments, sales calls, etc. Et yeah, okay. Um, so what motivated me to work hard last time, okay? Um, I, I honestly enjoyed the process. Like, I honestly enjoyed the process. Like, like the money never motivated me. Like, I, I do enjoy making money. I do enjoy the growth. Like, knowing that, okay, this month, okay, last time I was 19, I know, okay, this month I make $10,000. Next month, let's say I make $15,000. Next month, I make $18,000. Next month, I make $20,000. That growth, right, okay? Like, it's not that I needed to use the money, but just the fact that I oh, close another sale. That just, like, it's like, it's like getting good at a sport, you know? Like, just, it's like, Let's say when I play pool, okay, I'm like a national youth pool player last time, right? And yes. just knowing that I'm better at shooting, okay, that just that mastery alone uh, motivated me, okay? So um, human beings are motivated by four M's, okay? This is what I learned from Tai Lopez, okay? Um, we are either motivated by mating, okay, which means like girls and all that, or sex or whatever, right? Or we are motivated by money, okay? Or we are mo motivated by momentum, or we are motivated by mastery, okay? So like being motivated by mastery means like you just want to get good at this like i just want like for me whenever i do something i just want to get really good at it so i just do it day in day out day in day out until i get so good at it i spent more than ten thousand hours learning sales that's how i became good at sales okay um for for momentum is also like having that momentum and all that so that so like i would say it just a, it was just a very natural process like i never look at it as like oh i need to work so hard it, it just feels like oh okay i have another appointment to do okay great let's let's do this appointment you know so um yeah, I think it, for me, it always came quite naturally. Yeah, the drive and all that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I, I think I want to learn, learn this four M's because that will also motivate me to work hard. Yeah. Okay, the and, next question is when you fail, how do you motivate yourself to stand up and continue to work harder to succeed? I would say, to me, failure is part of the process, you know, like, I, 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 I there are, until today, there are sales calls that I don't close, until today, there are seminars, like, I've done thousands, I've done hundreds of seminars, okay, and there are still some seminars that I close zero sales, you know, even though I've done it hundreds of times, right, and there are some seminars that I can make, like, 10k in one seminar, right, but there are some seminars that I still close zero in sales, right, um, so, but I always look at it as a learning process, so I just keep tweaking and tweaking and improving, like, my slides and all that, so, um, what uh, how do I stand back up? Hmm. I would say, okay, first of all, as an entrepreneur, we must understand that failing is part of the process, okay? But secondly, we also must realize that we, want, we don't want to risk too much in each failure, okay? So, for example, um, this is what I learned from Jeff Bezos, okay? So, Jeff Bezos, when he does Amazon, right, they do like thousands of experiments every year, okay? And, but he always makes sure that every experiment is not something that is, that will kill Amazon, you know, it's like a, just a mini experiment and he, like, he, he does like mini micro experiments, you know, so that each failure is not that big of a failure, like, I've never risked, like, I failed, okay, but I've never risked, like, my whole net worth or something on, you know, something, so, um, so, yeah, but, okay, in terms of, like, how do you get back up, okay, I think that's a second topic, okay, like, like when you lose the momentum, okay? How do you motivate yourself to get back up, okay? So for me, I always believe that environment is stronger than willpower, okay? So I always change my environment if I want to get back up, okay? How do I change my environment? First of all, even my social media, right, okay? The people that I follow on social media, I make sure I follow people who are positive, people who, um, 
you know, who are teaching me something, you know, on social media. So like, like most people, their social media is a negative thing, right? They stop using social media. But for me, even when I use social media, it's a positive thing, you know? Um, for me, even when I, when I relax, right, okay? Like most people, they relax by watching a movie, right? For me, I relax by watch, reading a book. So even my relaxation time is productive. Make sense? Yeah. Um, and then I, I work by doing appointments. I work by doing, sale, uh, by, by doing seminars, etc. Um, so I would say, first of all, change your environment. Um, secondly, start getting the momentum. So like start taking baby steps. Like, like yeah, just do one sales, like one appointment at a time, one sales call at a time, one message at a time, etc. And then just uh, go on from there. Yeah, that's how you get the momentum back. Wow. Okay. Understand. Good. Um, who do you owe your success to? Uh? So I've got a lot of mentors. I've learned from hundreds of mentors. I spend more than a hundred thousand dollars on personal development and business development. Okay. So like, um, going for masterminds, coaching courses, books, and all that. I spend more than 10,000 hours learning marketing, branding, sales, business, psychology, personal development, you know? Um, so, some, some that I can name at the top of my mind are like, hey, let's say Russell Branson, um, JT Fox, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, Alex Hormozzi, um, Robert Kiyosaki, Grant Cardone, um, like really like Ty Lopez, like a lot of different mentors. Yeah, like, um, okay, there's two, there's two ways to learn something. Okay? The first way to learn something is to find one mentor. Okay? The fastest way to learn something is to find one mentor, pick that one system, okay? and then implement 100% of that system, okay? That's the fastest way to learn something. Like, if you learn from too many mentors, okay, you're going to get confused if you want to learn something fast, okay? Now, but the way to master something is to learn from many mentors, okay? You find out what's similar among all of them. For example, they all work hard, they all, you know, you know find out what's similar among all of them, and then you duplicate that. That's how you master something. If you want to learn something fast, find one system, duplicate that. If you want to master something, find like uh, 10 or 100 systems, and then see what's the similarity and then duplicate it. Yeah. Okay, understand now. Okay, what's the greatest achievement in life? Greatest achievement in life? Hmm. Um, I scaled my business from zero to $1.2 million in 18 months. And that was before I turned 23. Okay. Um, and I didn't start with any capital. Okay. Like for example, my coaching business, right? I started with zero capital and I scaled that. Okay. Um, my first client, I got the client, then only I started the business, you know. I didn't even have to put in money to, to like buy a company card or have a name card or a website or a logo or something. I didn't have a logo, you know. I just close the client first, collect the money ready, and then those were like, until today, actually, I don't have a logo. You know, I've scaled my business to a million plus dollars. I don't even have a logo, right? Um, so, so I, yeah, so I would say, I, I think that's one achievement. Another achievement... I would say it's the, it's the, the, the lives I've impacted, like um, building this community of 1,700 clients, um, it's, not, it's not something I would have expected, you know, like, like if you tell me like five years ago, oh, I'll have, a, have like 1,700 students, I wouldn't believe you, you know, yeah, so, uh, but, but everything just happened very naturally, I never aimed for a specific number, like, oh, I want to have 10,000 students, or I want to have 1,000 students by uh, five years' time, or that, I never aim for that, you know, I just say, okay, I just want to add value to as many people as possible, those who feel that they are the right fit, they will join me, if they don't feel that they are the right fit, then that's fine, you know, no hard feelings, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree, okay, thank you for your time, I think it's amazing, I really, really admire you for your courage, for your, um, persistent resilience. I think there's a lot I can learn from you. Um, I really thank you for your time and I really enjoyed uh, this short interview with you. I have learned, took down a lot of points. I've learned a lot of things from you. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Good luck for your business. I remember, yeah, one of my first few clients, um, I think back in 2018, yeah, probably 2018, you came for my course, right? Now it's already 2022, so it's been four years. Yeah. And uh, I've seen how much you've grown as well, right? And I remember, like, uh, no matter what, you're always still learning and growing and always improving. And like, even until today, you still come for refresher courses. So, uh, you know, uh, to, to learn the new knowledge or the updated knowledge or to, up, to upgrade yourself again. So that's, 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 that's really, really good. And uh, yeah, I believe you'll be successful in your Mway business as well as your recruitment business.
Thank you, Elric. Yeah, right. thank you very thank much care. for your encouragement. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.